how to fix the issue where git is not recognized in Visual Studio code. So if you're trying to type in a git command in Visual Studio and it's not recognizing the command, then to fix this, we first just need to make sure we have git installed onto our computer. Now, if you don't already have git installed, you can just type in git download and then you can click on this top website here and you'll need to go and install the official git application. Now, once you have this installed, we can go and open up the file directory on your computer. You then need to double click on your C drive, double click on program files, and then double click on this git folder. You then need to double click on CMD. You then need to click on the file directory at the top and you need to go and copy this entire address. Now, once you've done that, you can open up the start menu, go and search for the word environment and click on edit the system environment variables. You can then click on this button at the bottom called environment variables. Now click on the option called path and go and press edit. You can then click on new and then go and paste in the file directory that we just copied. And then once you've done that, you need to click on new once again, then go and paste in that file directory once again. And this time we're going to delete CMD at the end and we're just going to type in bin. Now you should have two different file directories here. And once you've done that, you can go and press OK. Click on OK once again. And now you'll just need to go in restart your computer. Once your computer's restarted, you can open back up Visual Studio. You can then click on the terminal window and you can type in git space dash dash version and then press enter. And if you see this text telling you the git version, this just indicates that this has been installed successfully. So that's it guys. Let me know in the comments if you found this video helpful.